Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a grocery haul slash what I eat in a week with meal plan ideas for you guys. So I'm back with another foodie video. These are long overdue. I really enjoyed doing the intro to autumn, the three autumnal dishes. If you didn't see that video, I'll link that up top. I haven't done a kind of like weekly grocery haul in a while, just because if you didn't see, we got a puppy, little Maggie, and it's just been so chaotic. We haven't really had time to do like real substantial meals. Um, anyone who's like a new parent or a new dog owner, or maybe is just going back to school, new job, all that, it's just crazy. And we've really been struggling to get back into the routine of doing a weekly shop. So we've been using HelloFresh. It's been a godsend. We're still gonna use HelloFresh as and when, but um, we really thought we'd do a nice substantial course for shop just to do top ups of bits and bobs. So in this, I'm gonna show you everything we've just bought. We went to Lidl. We usually go to Lidl. Sometimes we do top ups in like uh, Waitrose, a Tesco, Sainsbury's, and um, but yeah, we do Lidl primarily just for like the basics. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll talk you through what we're gonna have this week and each of the meals, and then in a separate video, you're gonna see all of the meals that we make. So I'm very excited about this one. I feel like it's um, long overdue, so I'm gonna stop rambling and get into it. I actually remember to download the Lidl Plus app, which is good because you get points and then they take the points total off of your bill. Um, so our total was 40 pounds and 34 pence which I don't think is bad going, and we got some stuff that we definitely didn't have on our list, but we got it anyway. Also, the light changes, sorry, I'm not using my ring light, I'm just using daylight, because today is actually a nice day. So um, yeah, total of 40 pounds and 34p. All right, let's get into it. As always, I'm gonna start with like fresh produce, and then I'll move on to more like dry store cupboard stuff. So um, yeah, first up, eggs. We got 12 free range medium eggs. We go through eggs a lot with bacon, breakfast, that kind of thing. Fresh veg, I'm not gonna talk through meals just yet, but I'm just gonna do a summary. We've got some large flat portobello mushrooms. These are so good and if cooked well enough, they actually have a nice texture similar to chicken, believe it or not, which um, I really like. Uh, we've got two packs of chestnut mushrooms as well. Some baby plum tomatoes. We eat these so much on like cheese boards. Uh, we use them in sauces. Zara takes them to work. They're lovely with some like rock salt on. We've got some escalian shallots. Oh, sorry, Italian, Italian. How do you say that word, Italian? We've got some shallots, basically. A burnt squash, two packs of spinach, and a bag of wild rocket. We've also got some spuds. These are gonna turn into chips. More on that in a second. Some red chilies, and then berries. We went for strawberries. It's come towards the end of berry season, definitely, but these looks absolutely delicious. So um, yeah, we've got some berries for a change. Some green bananas, just because they last longer. Orange juice and some milk for Zara, for her teas. Then um, we got some of this. It's actually Italian week in Lidl, so um, we got some of this Filo Paperio hot chili pesto. I've been making pesto eggs a lot. I saw it on um, TikTok, it's been a trend for a while, so I thought I'd get some of this to change up the regular green pesto that we get. Also got some single cream and some yogurt. Got some mango chutney and some more vegetable stocks because we were running low and some barbecue sauce because we completely ran out. Now onto the like miscellaneous items. We got a Febreze plug-in. Obviously we've got Maggie now and we're just really conscious of the flat kind of smelling like a puppy. <laughs> um, so this is gonna go in the kitchen um, just to give it a nice little refresh. And we've got some of these uh, four mil caps. These are the bio ones. We just love these little capsules. Keep these out of the way, your kids and doggos. If you have them, we keep ours in like a sealed jar. We've got a bottle of cider. Um, this isn't for drinking purposes. This is for cooking. This, however, is for drinking purposes. This is the um, Sauvignon Blanc, and it's the South African one. It's fair trade, and we've had it before, and it is one of my favorite wines from Little. I think it's like 550, so it's really affordable. But a loaf of the deluxe white seeded farmhouse bread, a garlic baguette, and then we got some of these part baked at home petite paninis, petite pans, sorry. Um, so small breads. Um, and that's the extent of my French knowledge. Uh, so we're gonna use these and then freeze the rest. Also picked up some of this in the Italian week. This is the Just Roll Garlic and Herb Tear and Share Loaf. I've never seen this before. However, oh my goodness, it looks amazing. So we thought we could maybe do this with like, I don't know, some cheese in it or like a camembert. Also got some puff pastry too. More from the Italian week. We love Italian food, as you know. I'm honestly, I wish I was Italian. <laughs> We've got some of this um, tomato gnocchi. Uh, we're gonna use this one in this week's meal, but we thought we'd get this and just pop it in the cupboard. It doesn't go out into it until next year. So we'll definitely use that up. We also got some of these uh, sav 
I'm gonna try and butcher this. Savioradi. Savioradi, um, which are Italian sponge fingers, like the lady's fingers. I'm gonna make a tiramisu um, and film it for uh, Instagram, so keep an eye out for that. Um, also got some of this trofia, uh, which is a pasta, a type of a pasta shape. And um, I've never had it before, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, from the Ital Italiano uh, range, a little. And then, last but not least, kitchen roll. We seem to be using a lot of this just because of Maggie's little accidents, as and when they happen. Um, but yeah, the Italian week was a vibe. Oh, we also picked up this. A nice big old parsley plant, because I'll um, come on to why we need a lot of parsley. But yeah, that was everything. So that was all of the ingredients. Obviously, we do have some store cupboard bits and bobs in the cupboard. So now I'm going to run through breakfast and then dinners. Breakfast wise, we pretty much have the same midweek every single week. Like I say, eggs, we scramble them, we poach them, sometimes I make an omelette. Bananas, I just have these because sometimes I get low blood sugar, so they're really good. And I also blend them up in smoothies. Similar in a smoothie, I use orange juice, but we just have this sometimes in the morning with toast. Bread completely varies, but like I say, we've got the seeded one. What we're gonna do is pop half in the bread bin, and then we're gonna freeze the other half just because it's quite a large loaf. And we find it goes off really quickly, um, obviously because it's not a fresh, you know, fresh baked. It's a pre-sliced, so it does go off quite quick. Berries, we usually have berries with granola, which we just recently bought, so I didn't buy any more. Yogurt and honey, just a delicious breakfast. It'll probably change up as the seasons get a bit colder, but it's still really warm in London. So yeah, strawberries and yogurt with granola and honey is a joy. And then obviously milk, I usually have oat milk and we've got loads of that sitting by me, but this is the milk for Zara's teas, just because she prefers the taste. So yeah, that's that's pretty much everything we have for breakfast. It just stays like this and we rotate between each of the days. So this evening on Monday, we're actually gonna have a risotto and I featured this in a vlog previously, but never got around to making it. And I've changed what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna do a, this is the Waitrose actually, plant life spanish style no chorizo whirls so i thought what i could do is like a nice risotto so i just realized we need these two so i'm gonna do like a red chili and roasted butternut squash risotto and then obviously i'm gonna pop the chorizo on top too there's two in here let me show you them actually they look really good they're like these chorizo style whirls um, and then obviously for the base of your risotto we've got shallots we have some veggie stock which is that's why i bought some marks we're running low some uh, risotto arborio rice. This, which is like um, a really, really cheap cook and wine. It's from Morrison, so we just use this sparingly. We don't drink this. Um, obviously need some garlic. And then this, which I actually got in um, an event with Smeg. Some delicious parmesan. So yeah, that is dinner number one. Dinner number two is a homemade-ish lasagna. Um, so I actually picked up this Vivira mince. We had this last week. Um, and we never got around to using it, so I'm gonna do a, obviously like a plant-based mince ragu with shallot, I'm gonna make a sofrito with carrots and celery, with some rosemary, garlic, red wine, and then obviously add some tomatoes and some passata, and then layered in between, we've got some lasagna sheets, these are just dried lasagna sheets, and then this Lloyd Grossman lasagna sauce, this is just the bechamel, you can of course make your own, but I prefer it, so I have a jar just for speed. And then obviously for these sides, we're gonna do the tear and share garlic and herbs loaf and then a rocket and tomato salad. So those are gonna be the sides and then the main is gonna be the lasagna. Dinner number three are sticky mushroom burger bun type things. So we use two types of mushrooms, portobellos and chestnuts. And then for like the stickiness, we use barbecue and red wine and like roasts in the oven. And then we're just gonna pop some tomatoes and rock it in the buns and serve it with some homemade uh, chips that we do in the air fryer. So that's meal number three, dead easy, but so, so tasty. Meal number four is a classic that we absolutely love this time of year. It's a mushroom and cider pie. So obviously we're gonna use two mushrooms for the burgers. So we're gonna use the other two with another pack of chestnut mushrooms. And you like a braise it in um, apple cider and mustard. And it is just delicious. You add a whole bag of spinach to it too. And then you cook it with a puff pastry lid and we're gonna serve it with a side of mashed potato. And then we do like a nice veggie stock gravy. So it's just delicious. but. Honestly, a firm favorite. I've made it before, but I will feature obviously the recipe in the next video. And then finally, meal number five is such an easy one. It's a gnocchi bake. So it's kind of like a nice cream. You basically boil the gnocchi and then you combine cream with red pesto, cherry tomatoes and spinach. Stir all that together in a nice little veggie parsley sauce. 
and then bake it and we're gonna have it with some garlic baguettes. It's a really easy one, but so tasty. And I also add a bit of chili as well, so pop those in there too. So that's meal number five. So that is everything. That's all five meals we're gonna have this week. That's a Monday to Sunday because we're out for two dinners. I really hope you found that somewhat useful. And if you keep an eye out for the future video, I'll be featuring all five of those meals with the ingredients and recipes so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to have you. I hope you're feeling somewhat inspired for the week ahead. If you have enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, I'll link some of my previous foodie recipe videos down below as well for more inspiration. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Lots of love to you all. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.